Cancer, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading. What is that? From Born Without Boundaries. Uh, welcome to the channel. Please do click subscribe. Help the channel grow. Um, no, I no longer put any dates on any of the videos, but I do upload a new video, new cancer video, new horoscope videos every single week. So if you want them fresh off the press, do subscribe and ring that bell so you get all the notifications for when new videos come up and when I go live. So let's get into your Oracle reading, Cancer. Yes, there will always be an extended if you want that um, additional depth and personal read that the extended gives you. That link is below. You can go there right now or, or wait till after because they're always connected. So let's see what the Oracle cards want to say for you. Cancer, remember this is an energy reading, not a horoscope. So it can apply to Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, um, or wherever Cancer influences your natal chart. Oh, Cancers. Yes, I'm nervous. Every time I go into these readings, because I'm like, what's going to happen? What is going to happen? This is about faith. This is about just shutting down our minds that are like, no, I, I need instantaneous gratification. I need to see, I need to see results now. <laughs> you need to be completely blinded cancerians. You need to be completely not even looking in the direction of what's coming toward you. That's what you need because it's that that is actually going to allow it to come toward you. The washed pot never boils, which of course is a figure of speech. Any pot on a fire will boil, but if it has water in it, but um, you got you to turn your head in the direction of your own progress. That's what you have to do. There is an absolute need for it because if you keep asking and insisting, it's all going to be like, it's all going to go on the sides of you and never come directly to you. I know it's like, how do I ignore what I can't stop thinking about? How do I ignore what I can't stop thinking about? <laughs> you don't ignore it. You, it's, not a, it's not about ignoring it because when you tell yourself to ignore it, you're still thinking about it, right? So it's not about ignoring it. It's about what needs to be done thinking about this moment that's right in front of you. Focus on your breath. Focus on what you have in your life right now. And it will be hard at first, but you're retraining your brain into a new behavior pattern. So that, and that's difficult. Sure, absolutely. Let's see what your crowning energy is. <sighs> Pops right out. Sometimes life stings. It's going to be tough and trust in the magic to start over. It's going to be it's going to be tough for you to just let go and trust that the good stuff is coming to you and to trust in this new thing. It's 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 almost like um struggle, pain, suffering, yielding something beautiful like birth, right? It's not it's not ever bad, but it's always ugly and it's, it's always painful. This is scorpionic energy, world, um, the world, the web, the world wide web, a buzz, a sting, an infestation, you know, that kind of energy of, um, something is happening to clear things out and to almost bring truth or uh, shed light on specific situations. Um, and it could very well be that you are part of that buzz or you are part of that process to call people out on their BS. This is also the energy of, like I said, it is not easy to conceive something new, but you have to trust that you'll get through. Trust in the magic. Sometimes life stings. Ooh. What is that pain? What is that suffering that you're feeling right now? Because this is 10. This is coming to an end. There's a conclusion happening here, Cancerians. Because this is still your crowning energy. This is where you begin. That tough period. It's like, it's like where is this pain getting me? Where is it? I don't think that you've been to the place that it's getting you because it's brand new. 
And since Raven, this is White Raven, so this is like the kiss of the White White Angel. This is this is um, um, God itself or Spirit itself blessing you and guiding you through and giving you new life and hope. <sighs> okay, we could be in a time where we need a lot of hope right now. You're about to get good news and good word. Or the tension is about to let up. Watch and wait. Piscean energy. Hmm. Pisces. I think you're waiting on an answer for some, from somebody and that's what's really irritating you. You've had a lot of patience. You, you've, you've waited and you've watched and maybe you've even kept a tight watch on them through the internet or um, you might have gotten some news that actually really hurt you and really made you suffer inside, made you feel pain. Maybe they're expecting a child with somebody else. Uh, maybe they've moved on and you haven't. There's still a sense of needing and wishing and hoping and wanting something that is actually supposed to be in your past. Five plus three is the energy of eight. So this was destined and fate, destiny, destiny and fate. Um, all of these feelings you're feeling for a reason, all of these losses had to happen to liberate you. See the big picture, which is very, very difficult for you to do, especially when all you're doing is looking behind you, but the giraffe looks in front of him. So this is stabilize yourself, ground yourself with that energy of I'm here now, and that allows me to look a little bit into the distance. What, what is it? Why? Is it, it's almost like this week is you figuring out why you had to go through all the things that you went through or why things are so tough for you. It's, it's like, it's, it's like the reasons why, like 10 reasons why I hate you. Ever see that movie? It's almost, it's almost like that. It's like that, this sense of, um, oh, like listing all the negatives to bring out the positive. Maybe you've reviewed or you've gone over. Interesting. Don't take any action right now. I know you want cancer. I know you want to leap. Hold on. I know you want to have an answer, but there is still a need for inquiry. There's a, still a need to watch and wait. Oh. Trust in the great mystery, but it's upside down. You're not diving in. Stay shallow. Stay on the surface. Don't get lost in the depths. Look from that aerial view and that aerial perspective. It's time for you to come up for air. Breach the surface and feel air in your lungs. This is almost, as, as being as much of a Cancerian as I am, this is like when you've almost been obsessed with something and it's killed you inside. It's almost like it's, it is self-torment. And you finally find yourself not caring anymore. That's what this energy is. It's like freedom from pain. Take a leap of faith. The energy of three. So spirit is on your side. It's coming in here to just say, listen, take a leap of faith. What's that crazy thing that you didn't have the life of energy, the lightness in your feet to do? Jump. Get ready and jump. Luck is on your side. As much as it seems like it's not. We have three more. Wow. Watch your words. So this isn't about saying, this is about observing. This is a week of observation. Take the lead. You take the lead and show spirit the direction that you want to move. Let spirit be your guide. You're going to work together. You're, it's there with you. You're, 
there's this energy around you that is absolutely protecting you and guiding you. But it's also asking you, what do you want? Tell me. And, and tell them what you want, not through your words, but through your actions. And if you use words, know that they're magic. And you're casting a spell with them. Three plus two is five. Change. Change how you think. Change how you feel. Change how you perceive. This is downloads coming in. Five plus eight. Spirit doesn't tap just anybody, but it's 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 actually a lot of people are getting this card has come up more in the past week than it has in months. So this is about us creating our world. Five plus eight is 13 plus four, the energy of four. Grounding, grounding by connecting to spirit. But what does that mean? Because this frustrates me too, believe me. Believe me, it frustrates. I don't want to hear these uber spiritual messages. This is literally about being, being extremely, like almost obsessed with something and finally liberated from it. That's what this is. And I would not be surprised if spirit leads you back into connection with this person or this situation to show you that you don't, it doesn't have any power over you anymore. This is complete and total liberation and freedom and the ability to, yes, you are lucky. You don't feel lucky because you're still focused on what you don't have. But if you look and hover above and see the big picture and see what you've actually gained over these past years or over this time, whenever you were really sorrowful and hurting, if you hover above it and look, you're going to see just exactly what was happening. You were the one getting hit with the branches in your face. You didn't know what was happening, but what you were doing was blazing a trail. Nothing is wasted. Everything that you've done, and look at something's coming to a head, which means the trail that you've blazed is finally leading you to that holy city. You're finally getting to a place like, you know, uh, you know, the, what is it? The book of Elijah. You ever see that? Um, um, the book of Eli. It's like you finally made it to that safe place. You didn't even know after a while if what you were following was real. It just was better. The belief in what it, the belief in it was better than what you had around you. And there was a lot of struggle. And maybe at a point, Cancerians, you forgot why you were struggling. You forgot why you were even on this path. You just knew that you couldn't turn back. And this is the energy of, believe me, you're about to find the treasure in the trash heap. Dream the world into being. Even though you're haunted by the past, you're looking at the future. And this past, it's dead. It's dead. It's just serving to remind you. It's just serving to um, almost protect you because you've already lived through it. So you can't, it's like there's no double jeopardy in the universe, right? It's like reminder, been there, done it. So I'm not going back. And it, if you are remembering or if these pains from the past are coming, it could, if these pangs from the past have been coming up, it's to remind yourself that you don't have to go through it again. You've already learned that lesson. And it's to remind the universe, hey, pass this one by. It's almost like getting an immunity. Like you, like you, like, um, Once you've had an illness, you have the antigens and the antibodies for it. So this is like the antibodies for it. That memory, that memory of what you've suffered and what you've lived for is why you get the right to a new life and a special life. The fact that this and this has shown up means that you have a, high, a highly holy life. A destiny that was divined for you and to you and designed almost by you and God itself. So under understand that this is this huge reality, like this huge truth about your existence, Cancerians coming into reality. You, for some reason, um, have an immunity. Now, now, it's not just for some reason. You have an immunity because you've already experienced the worst. 
and you've built up the antigens. And that's why this past can't hold you back. It's, it's all future now. Sing your own song. I know it says watch your words. Right? So, so the, this is the energy of three once again. Um, what does this mean? This is Gemini energy. S like be yourself, sing your own praises, be true to who you are and what you love. When you, when I say watch your words, it means something is coming to a head. Something is coming out. Something is being revealed. So watch how much you speak in terms of judgment and condemnation. But when it says sing your own song, just that, that doesn't mean even mean sing your own praises. It means what makes you happy? What do you love? That's what you focus on. Nothing else. That's where your energy has to be. Don't speak. Sing. Because singing comes from the soul, not the mind. Spirit has your back. Two plus three, once again, the energy of five, a change. Do it. That's all I want to keep saying to you. Do it. There is something that's on your mind, something that you've been scared to do, but you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to be there. You're supposed to be there. Trust in divine detours, energy of seven. So you're creating, you're getting an opportunity to go somewhere that you didn't plan. Something is going to whoop, skew you. Something is going to switch and change. Go with it. Trust it. It's universe intervening. It's directing you and guiding you from above. Now this is your grounding energy. All of this is you've planted the seeds little by little. You're building your home. Believe in yourself. Who are you? What are you becoming? Five plus seven is 12. This is more three. Believe in yourself. Plant the seeds for your future. You're worth the investment, Cancerian. Tend to the small things. These are baby steps, little by little. Build it little by little, brick by brick. And there is some stuff that you need to clear out, stuff that you've let build up over time. You want to clear out the clutter, literally the clutter. I talked about this in my daily. Cancerians, it's especially important for you because you hoard and you hold on to things because they hold memories for you. You're never going to be able to get rid of the memories if you don't get rid of the stuff. Get rid of the stuff. Be at home. Where is your home? Where is your real home? This heart space. This is your grounding energy. Finding yourself and finding where you really belong. And I believe that there's going to be a shift or a change in where you really belong, Cancerians. Where you want to plant your seeds, you may actually be surprised. There's Virgo energy here. There's Cancerian energy here. Hold on, let me flip this around so you can see the cards. It's time to do something shallow. Because this is about doing something in the 3D. This grounding energy here is about decluttering and cleaning out your home. So that you can literally plant seeds for the future by cleaning out your home. What, what does that mean? Is like when you get rid of things, you make room for new things. This is that prep time. This is the time when you're supposed to be getting ready to make changes because changes are coming. Whistle while you work. Whatever it is that you need to do to keep your heart and, and mind 
open and wide and out of your way. Because there is big stuff going down. There's big stuff coming in. You know, it's, it's almost like don't be surprised if you have to go in a direction that you didn't expect to go and it being the best thing that ever happened to you. There's change here, but it's divinely guided. And it's divinely guided by you. You're the one that's creating the momentum. So once again, I'll ask Cancerians, what do you want? Forget about the past or what you were attached to. Forget about the pain and suffering that it caused you. But don't forget that you went through it. Maybe even share your experiences about what you went through to become the leader that helps to guide others. And this is your way through, especially if like um, cancer, you have a Jupiter like me, you have a, your Jupiter is in cancer. That's all about helping others and taking care of people and building homes and making stability and healing. It's like about finding your fortune through the help and inspiration of others. Using that as your divine gift to take the lead and be that guiding force, like be that spiritual guide for others. Because like I said, it's almost like once upon a time, I just read my favorite, one of my favorite books was called Catherine. That's the name of the book. And it was like a medieval love story, but it, it wasn't just like a romance novel. It was awesome. And she was a bubonic plague survivor. And you, if you know anything about the bubonic plague, this killed three, three quarters. That means only one quarter of Western Europe survived. So, so this is the thing. If you were lucky enough to get it and not die, you had immunity to it. So you could actually turn around and now help others heal. So no, I'm not saying you're going to get sick. I'm saying you've been sick. Could have been a soul sickness, a mental sickness, a hurt or suffering or a pain. Now it is time to take that and turn it around and guide other people to their higher selves. Because you are now the guide leading people through. And I've said this about cancers every single time. The reason why we take so gosh darn long is because we sidewind. We walk back and forth. And why do we do that? Because Cancerians are never just walking a path by themselves. We're always making sure it's wide enough for other people to fit on. Always. You're building a home. You always have been. And that's why it was so tough. Because you aren't just beelining. Like a Capricorn or especially in Aries. You aren't just beelining in your direction, just clearing out the brush that you need to push off and get by. You have always been clearing out enough for a four-lane highway, and that takes longer. So please continue to have faith in yourself. This is not for nothing. Absolutely not. You have not wasted one second. I know you feel like you have. But that's why you need this message right now. You have not wasted one second of your time, Cancerians. You have done everything to divine purpose and to divine specs. Now, what does this matter for you? Why do you care? Why? Because you do. Because that's what you do. You care. You are the divine. You're not just led by it. And you are the one planting the future and building the home. Let's expand on this reading. I'm going to keep going. If you want to join me, please do. I'm, I can't wait to see what Tarot has to say. And we're going to do your romance reading as well. That link is below. I'll see you over there, Cancer.